First, they chase you out. No, 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 no. First, they bully you out of the UK. Then, they begin cosplaying you and copying the outfits that you wore while in the UK. Outfits that the UK press said were in breach of royal protocol, they said. What they truly meant is that it was not okay when a vital black woman was wearing that outfit. My family, what am I trying to say? Kay Milton wore the same outfit that Meghan wore in the past. Even the necklace that Kay Milton wore is exactly the necklace that Meghan wore at a recent event. And she copied an outfit that Meghan wore in September of 2018. Now, in September 2018, Prince Harry and Meghan, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, did an appearance to highlight the work of Coach Co. Meghan wore a navy blue Oscar de Renta jacket and black Altuzara trousers. Now, as it turns out, Kate Milton recently decided to copy Megan's look down to the necklace that Megan wore. I mean, my family, you know, I can exempt the outfit. But then, even the necklace that Megan wore back in 2018, Kate Milton wore it recently with the same matching outfit. A similar outfit to the one that Megan wore. And not just that, not just that. Also, I want to tell you this. Camelton also tried to copy how Prince Harry and Megan hold hands in public. The public displays of affection between Prince Harry and Megan. Camelton tried to do that with Prince William. But the thing is, Camelton. It does not come off naturally. Prince William appeared to be appalled and disgusted by the fact that King Milton tried to hold his hand. To the point that he was seen trying to evade King Milton's trying to hold his hand. King Milton's arm that reached out to him. My family... Holding hands only comes off naturally when you are in love. And that is what Prince Harry and Meghan feel for one another. Harry and Meghan love each other, as Stella Perry said. Something that Kim Milton can never, ever understand. Because she, in my opinion, does not have that with Prince William. She doesn't. She doesn't one bit. And no wonder William looked so appalled when King Milton tried to do some form of back rub on William. It did not come off natural and William looked appalled. Like she couldn't stand that King Milton was even close to her. And my family, when will they understand that is not about the dress or outfit that Megan or Harry puts, puts on. It is not about the hand holding between Harry and Megan. No. It is what is in Harry and Megan's heart that we like, that we love, that the public loves, that the public likes, that they love to see the love inside of their hearts. Not the outfits that they wear or the hand holding in public. No. It is what is inside Harry and Meghan's heart. And both of them, they have a good heart. Harry and Meghan have a good heart. I can't say the same thing about Kay Milton or Prince William who called his own mother, his late mother, chased to her death, paranoid, to please the UK press and the firm. 
that waged a hate campaign against the late Diana. To her death. My family, when will they understand? And someone even compiled several looks that Kate Milton has tried to borrow and copy from Megan. That the UK press termed a breach of royal protocol. What they meant is that they didn't like it when Megan, special woman, came in, fell in love with Harry, and dressed so impeccably and beautifully that they just couldn't stand seeing her happy. Even the clothes that she wore, they couldn't stand it so much. But somehow, those outfits that breached royal protocol in the past no longer do anymore because the so-called carnival or so-called experts are happy when it's a white woman who is wearing them. Once again, cosplaying, copying Megan. What is it with the farm trying to copy the women that the hound will chase away, bully away from the UK like what they've done to Megan? I remember once upon a time whereby Camilla tried to copy that, you know, revenge dress that the late Diana wore in the past. And she came off, Camilla came off looking terrible. Like, you can't even compare. You can't even compare. Sometimes, you just have to ask yourself, what did Charles see in Camilla? You just have to ask yourself. Because if it's beauty, then I don't see it. I just don't see it. Well, maybe he just saw that both of them are just one and the same. They are devoid of any form of morals whatsoever, in my opinion. That's perhaps what Charles saw in Camilla. Because Camilla was never more beautiful than Diana, the late Diana. She wasn't. She wasn't. That's a fact. And when she tried to wear that revenge dress, it didn't come off or work out as what she intended. She looked just miserable. She looked just miserable. Camilla looked just so miserable. Are these the bullying tactics that the palace use? You know, what is it? What, what is it with this copying from time and time again that they like to do? Do they think that if you copy Diana, that somehow the public will love you? If you copy how she dressed, that somehow the public will love you. Because let's say that, oh look, you know, Camilla paid tribute to Diana, the same Camilla who was Charles' mistress. I mean, seriously, 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 the palace PR propaganda out in full force time and time again. And somehow I just don't, don't get it. Because this cosplaying of Meghan and Harry by K. Moulton, who tried to do it, tried to grab William's hand. Then William appallingly couldn't even stand it that K. Moulton came so close to him. You could see it. You could see it. You, you could see it. And my family, it comes off naturally. And the public can see what is natural when two people are actually in love the way Harry and Meghan are. Once again, I cannot say the same thing of, of Kate, Milton, and Prince William. My family, someone said this, that Kate, Milton, and William were trying to vibe stock Harry and Meghan. You all know that Harry and Meghan always like to be physically connected. Holding hands is something that they always do, naturally. And it comes off naturally, time and time again. Harry himself even opens the door for Megan before she enters or gets into a car. Prince Harry is a real gentleman. And it comes off naturally. Look at in the past when K. Moulton was trying to get up the stairs. When Tom Cruise held K. Moulton's hand up the stairs. While William was just standing there. Just standing there. 
and watch another man, you know, holding his wife's hand. My family, no matter how much the royal family spoke about Ghana that these two individuals came Milton and Prince William that all is okay, I just don't see it. I remember what Harry said in the Gun Magazine article that me and Megan, we just work together and we live together and it and it's okay with us. We're okay with that. And we are happy. Very happy. But I know some members of my family, extended family, who can neither live nor work together. My family, I have a question. Was Harry in the Card Magazine article talking about Kim Moulton and Prince William? You know, my family, I think he was. I think he was. Now, we also know that, first of all, Prince Harry Meghan like to, you know, hold each other on their backs. Kate tried to put a hand on William, and he looked shocked and appalled, like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing, Kate Milton? What are you doing, Kate? We are not Harry Meghan. And you can even see that William's hand posture was a bit lower. Then it went higher. Like, what are you doing? Like, what are you doing, Kate? What do you think you're doing? Because it just does not come out naturally for both Kate Moulton and Prince William. They, in my opinion, are not in love because perhaps they don't even know what love is. My family, I want to hear your opinion about these pics that I've just shown you. About Kim Milton copying, you know, Megan's outfit. To even Megan's necklace that she wore. To that. To the necklace. Kim Milton should understand. It's not the outfit or the necklace that Megan wore. While being a member of the royal family that made, that made us all love Megan. No! Or that Megan and Prince Harry showed public displays of affection. No. It's because Prince Harry and Meghan have a good, compassionate heart. They have love inside of them. That is what made us love Prince Harry and Meghan. They are good people with good, remarkable hearts. Who don't sell their souls to the UK press for positive press? Or to get good publicity. That is one of the many reasons why we love Prince Harry and Meghan. Nothing to do with the outfits that they wear. Although we do love seeing Prince Harry and Meghan looking so fine and good. And looking like a billion dollars. We love, we love seeing that. We love seeing them. And they look spectacular. I mean, look at those behind the scenes Photos of Prince Harry and Meghan at the One Young World Summit. Look at just how great they looked. We love seeing that. We love seeing that 100%. I won't lie to you. I won't kid you about that. My family, I have this to say. It's high time that this, the palace change its tactics. It's high time that they change this tactics of stalking. Because it seems to be like K. Milton... It's like she has some sort of like a video of what did Megan wear today. Like she's asked for it in the morning. What did Megan wear that I can copy today? Because she has nothing of her own. She just has nothing of her own. She is, has no identity. She has no identity. The only time the press praise Kate Milton is when they're bullying Megan. It's the only time. She has no identity. It's high time that they understand that this stance of them trying to cosplay Harry and Meghan will never make us like K. Milton or William. No. It is attitude. Their attitude. Their actions of leaking stories against Harry and Meghan. That needs to stop. That needs to change. It needs to come to an end and they need to face accountability for their actions and apologize for the pain that they have caused Harry and Meghan. Should ask for forgiveness. Only then 
then perhaps people might start seeing them differently. My family, I want to hear your opinion. I want to stop there and I want to hear your opinion about all of this. And with that and so much more, stay tuned to our next video. Don't forget to like, subscribe and support our ever-growing family on YouTube. May God bless Harry, Megan, Archie, Lil Bedana and Dorian Agland. And all of you members of the squad at home and stay tuned to our next video. What do you think about all of this? I want to hear your opinion. Kindly stay tuned to our next video. K. Moulton, you will never be like Megan. You will never have the love and affection that Prince Harry has towards his beautiful wife, Megan. You won't have that. Why am I saying this? I'm saying this because of your actions. Because of your deeds towards Prince Harry and Meghan. You know, Prince Harry welcomed you in the family. Treated you with respect and dignity. What did you do? Instead, you made Meghan cry while planning Meghan's wedding. While Meghan was planning her own wedding, you made her cry. And then, what's worse is after you did it, you went to leak to a tabloid the opposite. That was Meghan that made you cry. Getting Megan to be bullied and abused and racially targeted with racist abuse. You did that, K. Milton. You did that. And it's a shame, really. It's a shame, really, because Harry welcomed you in the family treated with respect. It's a shame that you couldn't do the same thing for the woman that Harry fell in love with. It's a huge, huge shame. It's a huge, huge shame. And an indictment of the person that K. Milton and both Prince William and K. Milton are. They are not good people in my opinion. My family, what do you think? Kindly please stay tuned to our next video. I just want to hear your opinion about all of this, my family. I want to hear your opinion about everything, my family. What do you think about the palace liking to, you know, even copy Outfits be belonging to members of the royal family that the palace has clearly rejected or the farm has rejected from Diana, like what Camilla tried to do, copy Diana's revenge dress. And now K. Moulton, time and time again, copying Megan's outfit. What do you think about that? I just want to hear your opinion about all of that. My family, I just want to say God bless each and every single one of you. And thank you for staying tuned to our videos, for subscribing, for liking, and supporting this channel. It means a lot to us. What do you think about all of this, my family? It's high time that K. Moulton and William face accountability for their actions against Harry and Meghan. No amount of outfits will make us, you know, think differently about who K. Moulton is or like it because of your outfits. No. It's character. Your actions. Your deeds. What's inside of you? That is what will make us decide whether to like you or not. And we've seen what is inside William and Kimbleton, and it is not something good. They do not have a good heart, in my opinion. And my family, I'm thankful that Prince and Meghan have each other. I'm thankful that Harry and Meghan have chosen love in their lives. And may God keep blessing and protecting them. My family, may God bless each and every single one of you. May God bless your families and stay tuned to our next video. Let me just end it right there. Stay tuned to our next video. What do you think about all of this? I just want to hear your opinion in the comment section. And kindly stay tuned to our next video. Hello, members of This Girl Family TV. First of all, I want to say thank you for all your support that you give us to our channel. We don't take it for granted that you support this channel. I want to say thank you from the bottom of our hearts for lending out your support and fighting against injustices, supporting Prince Harry and Meghan, showing them love. Love will always triumph over evil, and for that I say thank you. Good will always prevail over bad. Thank you so much for all your support. Thank you so much for joining this community, this amazing community of Zesco Family TV. I love you so much, family, from the bottom of my heart, and I wish you all the best. May you have a great, great day, and I hope that you enjoyed this video and learned a lot, a lot of things. With that and so much more.
Stay tuned to our next video. Leave a comment below, like, and subscribe. Love you, family. Always and forever. Sayonara.